I'd like to continue talking about easy interactive tools. I'm back in desktop anim annotation mode. You can see from the icon at the top. And when I'm in this mode, I can use the mouse as a regular mouse if I click this top uh, button in the interactive tools. So I'm in a browser. If I click a link, it's just going to act like a, a mouse without interactive tools running at all. And it's just going to go to that link. Uh, last time I showed you the basic uh, drawing tools. Uh, you can see I have markers for black, red, blue. The white is actually an eraser, and the, the big eraser at the bottom erases everything. Up towards the top, there is a shape tool. And if I click on that, it lets me select uh, a line size, a shape, be it hollow or solid, and a color. And then I can draw right over top of my uh, browser, since I'm in desktop annotation mode, uh, whatever that shape happens to be. I can also use the text tool and put text on top uh, of my browser as well. So I can adjust the color, the font, the size, uh, just like a, a desktop uh, a word processor. I can do all those things. So now I have text and a shape right on top of my browser. If I use the pointer tool, I can select things, move them around, resize them, or delete them if I want to get rid of them. Moving down, the next item is the custom line tool. You get the black, red, green line tools automatically, but if you want to use a different color or a different line size, you will select this tool, and then you can select a specific size and a specific color. And then when you use that tool, you'll get a line tool of that color and that shape. That tool will stay with that color and that shape until you change it or exit the program. There's also a, a highlighter, and I can customize that just like I can customize the line tool. So I can make a however wide of a highlight I want and a color I want. And then when I highlight, it's going to use those selections. You can see the highlighter, I can see through the color, where when I use the line tool, it blocks uh, what's underneath out completely. So those are the basics of the interactive uh, tools. Uh, next time I talk about some advanced features.